So very often in mathematics, if you can go one way, you can go the other way. And that's what this stuff is here. So in the past, we've been saying, okay, sine 60 degrees, and you've been able to figure out the exact value of sine 60 degrees. So the, like this, what's that? In this question, we're saying, I don't know what the angle is, but I do know like this value is root three on two. And so our goal is gonna be, we, used, we've, we know how to do that, now we need to know how to do this. Now, the interesting thing about this is that when you do this, you get one answer. When you do this, very often you get more than one answer, multiple answers. You've got some experience with this kind of thing, where if you do one kind of operation, you'll get one answer, but if you reverse it, you'll get multiple answers. So like, for example, um, if you've got a number and you square it, you get one answer. But if you've got a number and you square root it, you get two answers, plus or minus three is equal to the square root of nine. So that's the idea, we're gonna be working backwards. Now this is something that people usually struggle with, but I think you're gonna do fantastically with it because of this, what I hope, is a pretty cool way to talk about the unit circle. All right, this is another one of those videos where I'm gonna do every single question, but you shouldn't watch me do every single question. As soon as you think you've got it figured out, you stop watching me do the whole thing. Instead, you pause it, you attempt it yourself, and then you just fast forward and see if you got the same answer as me. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, sine theta equals root three on two. Okay, how are we gonna approach this? Oops. Okay, whatever, that's better, fixed it, and I focused my camera. Okay, so sine theta equals root three on two. How are we gonna approach this? Okay, not surprisingly, I'm gonna draw a circle. Okay, now notice that sine theta equals a positive value. Root three on two is positive. Now, sine is the y coordinate of a dot, right? It's the y coordinate of a dot. Now the question is, where in our circle is the y-coordinate positive? The y-coordinate is positive in quadrant one and in quadrant two. So we're gonna have an answer in quadrant one and we're gonna have an answer in quadrant two. Okay, now, what about this root three on two thing? What's root three on two? All right, let's think about that. One, uh, two, root three. Okay, root three on two, sine root three on two. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? Opposite over hypotenuse. So this angle would make sine root three on two. So this angle, opposite hypotenuse, and that angle is 60 degrees. All right, very close to finish here because now I can draw in 60 degree angles in quadrant one and in quadrant two. Now when I do that, I'm measuring the angle from the x-axis, right? So I've drawn in two here and now I'm really finished. I can say that theta equals this answer which is 60 degrees, or this answer, which is, and now I have to measure that angle, 120 degrees. That's it, I'm finished. That is the answer. The answer to sine theta equals root theta, three on two, theta equals 60 degrees or 120 degrees. I should mention there are actually way more answers than that. It's just that this question is like uh, restricting the domain to zero to 360. What do I mean by there's more answers? This is for a future video, but we could like rotate around and that could be another answer. We could rotate around and that could be another answer, but we're gonna restrict ourselves to zero to 360. Celebrate, next question.
All right, cos theta equals root two on two. You should pause it, you should try it yourself, but I'm gonna do it. First step, circle. Now, it's cos theta and it's positive. So the question is, cos theta, remember, is the x coordinate of our dot, right? And where is the x coordinate of our dot positive? This quadrant and this quadrant, right? X is positive on this side of the y-axis. Okay, great. Now, where have we seen root two on two before? We've seen it in this standard triangle, right? One on root two is the same as root two on two. So the angle that we're interested in is this angle here, this 45 degree angle. So now in quadrant one and in quadrant four, I can draw those 45 and 45, 45 and 45. And I've really finished now. Now I can say that theta is equal to this angle, which is 45 degrees, and this angle, which is 315 degrees. Done, easy, straightforward. I um, don't think I've got much to say about that. I feel like I'm good there. All right, next question, and here we go. Sine theta equals negative a half. Try it. First step, draw a circle. A lot of people think that I'm drawing this circle that I'm trying to teach you something. This is the maths. You draw the circles. Okay, sine theta equals negative a half. Ooh, all right, sine is the y-coordinate of the dot. Where is the y-coordinate of the dot negative? In this quadrant and in this quadrant, quadrant three and in quadrant four. Okay, where have we seen sine theta equals a half before? Okay, it must be in this one. One, two, root three. All right, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So it must be this angle here, um, which is uh, 30 degrees. Okay, great. 30 degree angles, we draw them in our third and fourth quadrants. Now remember, you're measuring from the x-axis. 30 degrees, 30 degrees. And then we just finish off now by saying that theta is equal to whatever that angle is, which is 180 plus 30, so 210. And whatever that angle is, which I can do a clever way, 360 minus 30, 330 degrees. These are my two answers. This is the working out that you're going to show that you've been able to do this. Next question, but not before I celebrate. All right, tan theta equals root, th root three. Uh, okay, how are we gonna do this? Oh, pause, you do it, you do it. Okay, here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna draw a circle. Okay, now I'm gonna ask myself, oh, tan theta is positive. Now, where here is tan positive. It's positive in quadrant one and quadrant three. Hopefully you remember why it's positive in quadrant one and quadrant three, but it is. Okay, uh, now this angle here, we should recognize that. Uh, one, two, root three. Tan is equal to um, opposite over adjacent, right? Because we want root three over, this is like root three over one opposite over adjacent. So this is the angle we're dealing with, which is a 60 degree angle. So I draw 60 degree angles in quadrant one, remember, from the x-axis, and in quadrant three from the x-axis. And then I can just look at them. 60 degrees, done, and 180 plus 60, 240 degrees. Those are my two answers. This is my working out. Celebrate. Next question. Sine theta equals zero. Try it yourself. It is a tricky one. All right, here we go. It's a circle. And then this zero should raise alarm bells, right? All right, so let's think about what's going on here. Oh, battery's running out. That's okay. Let's think about what's going on here. Remember that sine theta is the y coordinate of our dot. And so the question is, for what angle is the y coordinate of our dot zero? Well, the y coordinate of our dot will be zero when it's here. 
Will it be zero at any other time? Yes, when it's here. So our answers are here and here. There are our two answers. Now sometimes you only have one answer, you can see that maybe a bit later on. Two answers, no need for standard triangles. Our answers are, actually, I think we've got three answers. Zero degrees, 180 degrees, and 360 degrees. Oh, why three answers? Well, look up here at our domain. Zero is less than or equal to theta, which is less than or equal to 360, which means that we include zero and 360 as possible answers. Three answers, first time. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Oh, let's go. All right, obviously you should try this. Cos theta equals negative a half. Let's go. A circle, it's negative. So uh, cos is the x coordinate of our dot. Where is the x-coordinate negative? It's here and here, right? X-coordinate's negative here and here. Negative a half, where have we seen that before? One, two, root three. Cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, which means this must be our angle, which is 60 degrees. Drawing in 60 degrees here, remember, from the x-axis. 60 degrees, 60 degrees, there and there. So our final answers is theta is equal to this angle, which is 180 minus 60, which is 120, or this angle, 180 plus 60, which is 240. Okay, two answers. You feel the process. It feels easy, I hope. Next question. Tan theta equals negative 1 on root 3. You try. All right, how am I going to do it? No surprise, I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to notice that my answer is negative, and I'm going to know that tan theta is negative in this quadrant and in this quadrant. And then I'm going to look at 1 on root 3, and I'm going to think, oh, that's a triangle that I know about. And then I'm going to say tan is equal to, oh, opposite, because I need this 1 here opposite over adjacent, so this must be my angle, 30 degrees. Now, 30 degrees in this quadrant, remember from the x-axis, 30 degrees from the x-axis, Thirty. that's a very small 30 degrees, but you get the idea. Uh, and then I'm just going to finish up. So, angle, 150 degrees, angle, 330 degrees. All right, that's it. Simple, simple. So next question is sine theta equals negative root two on two. Obviously you shouldn't watch me do this. You should be doing these. Uh, circle, negative. Uh, sine is the y coordinate of our dot and our y coordinate is negative here and here. Uh, root two on two. It comes from this triangle here. Um, I don't have to think because those angles are the same. So 45 degrees must be the, the one I'm looking for. So 45 degrees, 45 degrees, right? And my answer is this one, which is um, 180 plus 45, 225 degrees. And this one, uh, 360 minus 45, 315 degrees. Done, yay, let's go. Cos theta equals root 3 on 2. You should do this. Okay, circle. Cos is the x-coordinate of the dot, uh, and it's positive. So the x-coordinate of the dot is positive there and there. Uh, root 3 on 2, that reminds me of this triangle right here. Cos is e adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse. Must be that angle. 30 degrees, 30 degrees here, 30 degrees here. So our answers are this, which is 30 degrees, and this, which is 330 degrees. Done, celebrate, next question. The next question is tan theta equals zero. Now, you should know about this. You should be able to just spot them, right? Circle, tan theta is equal to zero here, 
and here. Okay, we've done that before. I don't need to prove that to you. You should know the tan 3 is a zero here and here. That means that our answers, similar to one that we did earlier, are this, zero degrees, this, 180 degrees, but also this, 360 degrees. Three answers, one more to go. Cos theta is equal to negative one. You should do this yourself. We have a circle. Remember that cos is equal to the x coordinate of our dot. And so the question is, as we rotate this dot around the circle, where is the x coordinate negative one? And the answer is here, negative one, zero. The x coordinate is negative one right there. And only there which means that this is the only question in this whole list that only has one answer. And that one answer is 180 degrees. So sometimes we have two answers, sometimes we have three answers. This time we have one answer. You've got to think about it a little bit. And that is how you do that.